Yeah, well, Hove, Hove, like what, 51? Hove, like 51 years old. He didn't, he didn't did New York, you know what I mean? Now he took his family, he took him and his family, you know, they moved out to, um, they moving out to Cali, you know what I'm saying? They moving out to California, you know what I'm saying? He said that, um, you know what I mean? He will, he'll never be moving to another state again, you know, ever, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna be there to stay. He's gonna be a resident of Los Angeles, you know what I mean? See, niggas gotta remember, he did New York already. You know what I'm saying? Well, he's 51 years old. You know what I mean? He did the 80s. He did the 90s. You know what I mean? He did the 2000s. He did now. He did New York. You know what I mean? He want to see something different. You understand what I'm saying? Niggas got to remember that Hove is actually who niggas was rapping about. You understand what I'm saying? When um, niggas was like in the, in, the, in the early 90s, in the mid 90s, niggas was rapping about like the, the having the gold and the Beamer and having this and the Benzo and all of that and going OT and all of that. Hove was that dude for real. You understand what I'm saying? He was that actual dude that was doing all of that, that niggas was rapping about, like on the mixtapes and all of that. You know what I mean? He actually seen it. You know what I mean? He seen, he seen, he seen what it really is to be a street nigga. You understand what I'm saying? He, he done did all that street shit. You understand what I'm saying? You gotta give him his just due for where he's at today, you know? And, um, you know, shout out, shout out to his relationship too, because I'm going to tell you the truth. I ain't think that his relationship with B was going to work for one simple fact. She was watching Saturday morning cartoons. You understand what I'm saying? While he was trying to worry about how I'm going to get this over the VA, how I'm going to get this over the NC, how I'm going to get this over the SC, how I'm going to get this over there while she was watching Saturday morning cartoons. You know what I mean? So they come from two different worlds. Not only is she from Houston, he's from Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? So they from two different worlds. You know what I mean? So shout out to that relationship and it working. You understand what I'm saying? That's like, you know, that's kind of unheard of. You know what I mean? But you also got to remember, you can't speak just yet because you got to remember these is two people with a couple of dollars. You know what I'm saying? They got a couple of dollars. You know what I mean? These two people plus not just that. Plus they're busy people. So they're not with each other every day, day in, day out. You know what I mean? They get breaks from each other. And you know, when they say when it comes to like relationships and all that, it's good to get a break from each other. You know what I mean? You appreciate each other more when you get a break from each other. You know, but shout out to Hove and all that. Hove is up out of here. You know what I mean? He feel like he did New York. You know, he got the Barclays Center. He got money in the Barclays Center. You know what I mean? He got the 4040 down there in Manhattan, all that. And then he got other business ventures that we probably don't know about. You understand what I'm saying? So that's it. He did New York. You know what I mean? He's like, yo, he had the crib out in Scarsdale. He probably did that. You know what I mean? He had the crib out in the Hamptons. He did that. He's like, you know what? I need to see something different. I need to see something different. And you know, a lot of people that been out, out in New York and all that for a while, a lot of people that been out here for a while, a lot of people feel like that. You know what I mean? Especially, especially if you ain't never been nowhere. You know, if you ain't never been nowhere, you're going you know, you to want to get up out of here for a little while. You know what I'm saying? But then you also got people like people like, let's say, the locks. You know what I mean? They ain't never gonna leave New York. You know what I'm saying? They get get love here. You know what I'm saying? They could actually, they could actually walk the streets like it's nothing. They get love here, you know what I mean? They never gonna leave. You know what I'm saying? But shout out the hove and all that. I'ma run a little timeline right now. I'ma run a little timeline to bring you through, you know, bring you through Hove's legacy real quick. You already know this is Big Twin, the meth lab. Pete, Pete, Pete. All right, I know some of y'all is probably laughing right now, but all of us got like this type of picture. All of us got like at least one, two, maybe three of these type of pictures. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is Hove, man. This is Hove in his younger days, man. This is Hove. Um, you know what I mean? A lot, you know, at, at this time, like a lot of people didn't know, you know, he was going to be who he was. You know, people could laugh all they want. But you know this 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 young boy right here. You know he grown to be a um, very very beyond successful man. You know what I mean. And um, you got to give him his just due. You got to give him his just due as being a kid from the projects. You know what I mean. Making it all the way up into the billionaire status. You know what I mean. He done sat with the elite, with the elite. You know what I mean. I mean to put people that's pulling the strings on um a lot of things that go on you know what i'm saying on the earth today you know what i mean <laughs> you, you gotta give it the hove man i tell you boy you know 
But at this point right here, you know, he was he was still um, um, like in his mid level, mid level in his career. You know what I mean? He was actually um, he was actually a millionaire, a millionaire at this point. You know, he um, at this point he had the 4040 club. You know, he probably had a few other business ventures. He had the Rockefeller um, Rockefeller label. He also had uh, Rockefeller clothing. You know what I mean? Which they um, him and Dame later on sold. You know, so um, he was in his rise. He was in his rise at this point to power. You know what I mean? And um, you know, he 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 actually discovered a lot of great artists. He actually brought a lot of great artists to the table. You know, Beanie Siegel being one of them. You know, and um, he Beanie Siegel actually turned out to be um better than him. The rapper Beanie Siegel is actually better than him and has more credit, you know what I mean, credible um songs than him. You know what I mean? But um at this at this point right here, that was like pretty much like um the end of um Jay-Z's um street street credibility at this point. You know what I mean? He was he was officially he was officially in the in in the high seat, you know what I mean, at this point. He was officially in the high seat. He um he was at the point right now where he was known globally at this point. I mean, you know, he was mentioning certain brands in his songs and people people was actually not wearing certain things no more because he said it's a no-go, you know what I mean? Or they was actually wearing things that, you know, he said was good money. So at this point, you know, I mean, the powers that be knew that he was effective, that he, he was very effective. You know what I mean? And um, this is probably the point where they got a hold of him, you know, at this very point right here, you know. And I guess at this point, you know, he looked like he actually took a metal fork and stuck it in an electric socket at this point. This is the Jay-Z that I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going through his head at this point. You know what I mean? He looked like um Gene Basquiat, you know what I mean? Or like Maxwell or one of them, you know what I'm saying? I don't know like what's going through Jay-Z's head like right now. I know he's at he, he at this point he's at the actual um status where he want to be, you know, but um I don't know if this was always him, the type of dude that just want to just look just look wild, look crazy, you know what I mean? But um we just we still going to give him his just due. <laughs> Jay Z is a funny dude. I swear, we still gonna give him his just due. You know what I mean? He um actually um made it to the status where um he want to be. You know what I mean? And um you know we gonna wish Jay all the success. Mathematics, entertainment, truth, history. <laughs>